Okay, Joshua, throughout our conversation, you kept mentioning the RAS system. RAS system. Could you throw more light on what it is about? Okay. So the RAS system stands for Recirculating Aquaculture System. It is a system, a water management system, implemented on farm to control the amount of water being used okay. on farms and then to optimize fish growth. Okay. So basically, the Recirculating Aquaculture System contains the pond and then the filtering system. So the wastewater from the pond is being channeled through a series of filters. Mm -hmm. First, a solid state filter which removes physical dirt, and then a, a, a chemical filtration system which removes chemical, harmful chemicals like ammonia, nitrites, and then nitrates, okay. and then a biological filtration system which removes pathogens, okay. harmful uh, bacteria from the water. Okay. So I can take you to the chamber and then show you how our recirculating aquaculture system works. Okay, so do you install the systems for clients? Yes, yes, yes. We install this system for clients. Clients facing challenges as to where to dispense with what, uh, waste water. Okay. And then clients with uh, water shortage or uh, bad availability of water okay. on their farms. We do that so that you wouldn't be changing water frequently. A recirculating aquaculture system can work more than three months without water change, depending on how well you take care of them. Okay. That's a lot of savings. Yes, yeah, that's a lot of savings. All right. Then let's see it. Okay, sure. What are you looking at? So this is our recirculating aquaculture system. This is our filtering chamber. We have three filters, three filtering chambers here. Firstly, this is our solid state remover. The first chamber is our solid state remover. The second chamber which you are looking at is a mini or micro solid remover. So the water moves from the first chamber, from the pond, it, came to the, it comes to the first chamber where solid, uh, bigger solid settles to the bottom. And then the clean water moves to the second chamber where micro depths are being removed. And then it comes to a biological chamber. We have two biological chambers. This is the first biological chamber. And then the second biological chamber is this drop currently. So the water from the biological chamber, this is where uh, bacteria, harmful bacteria are being removed. And then the ammonia, harmful ammonia, which is as a result of fish, feces, excretion in the pond, it creates ammonia in the water. So the, the, when the water gets here, the ammonia is being converted to nitrate and then to nitrite. Nitrite is less harmful to your fishes. So, so what purpose does the lid of the bottle serve? Okay, so the purpose of these things, the bottle leads and then the uh, floating media, these, these are floating media, they okay. are called uh, floating media. Okay. They help improve on the nitrification process. Okay. Nitrification process is the process where ammonia is being converted to nitrate and then to nitrite. Okay. Nitrite is less harmful to our fishes. Okay. So this filtering chamber takes care of that. Okay. We have some couple of filtering medias here, a cotton filter, and we are also doing with uh, ceramic filters and then uh, bottle leads. Okay. These are the actual filters to save cost. Okay. It's, it's, it's also effective, okay. yes. So basically, these are recirculating aquaculture system. So this is the final point of the, yes. of the filtration, right? No, this is the final point for yes for the filtration. Uh -huh. But then I have another section where the water from the three previous chambers moved to a UV light. Okay. And then the disinfection also continues from there before it, it enters my pond. Okay. Yes. So this way, you're able to save water. You are able to save water. This takes care of the solids and then also the chemicals in the water. It takes care of it. So you don't need to change water at all. You can see how clean this water is. Yeah, yeah very clean. Yes. Very clean. So we install this setup. If you want a setup like this, if you have water challenge and you, you want us to install this, you can install it okay. for you. Right? Yes, the same water from the pond gets here and then the filtration process starts and then the water is being returned into the pond. So it's a cycle, a continuous cycle. And if you are wondering if I'm going, we are going to use uh, too much electricity, no. The whole setup, we have 8,000 capacity cut space. The whole setup is being run by one submissible pump and an aerator. 
a 350 watt submissible pump that is the old light bulbs three or four of them to run the whole system so it's cost effective you don't need to use uh, too much electricity yes 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 and these systems also runs automatic yes they are automated. yes they are automated there are float detectors that are incorporated here so it automatically detects float and then prevents your pond from floating and then the system from floating as well okay. so basically this is how my system works and then if you need something like that you can give me a call